Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the Morning Grain Comments. Well, happy Friday, everybody, and I hope everybody has a safe and wonderful weekend. Overnight prices are lower. Uh, we've got the July beans down eight cents and trading below fifteen dollars. Meals down four dollars. Uh, soybean oil is down uh, forty-nine points and below sixty cents a pound in the July. We got July corn down a penny and these corn down three cents. The July wheat's down seven cents, while Casey's down nine cents, and Minneapolis is unchanged. Outside market stocks are lower, the dollar is higher. Uh, crude is um, lower, and copper is, is higher. Delivery zero corn, zero wheat, 66 beans, 692 soybean oil, nine soybean meal, 590 KC contracts, 337 Minneapolis contracts. I guess the only surprise in the marketplace was that there were uh, soybean and soybean oil deliveries. There's rumors about China washing out uh, Brazil soybean sales. Uh, there's also rumors that they might be looking for use U.S. October, November, and March 22. Um, there is talk about soybean imports coming in the U.S. along with corn. Uh, again, it's not um, a significant amount, but psychologically it's negative. And we also note that crush rates continue to be positive here in the U.S. And crushers may not have total ownership after uh, May. Argentina's soybean crop was uh, estimated at 43 million metric tons, harvest is 33% done versus 68 point last year. The Matif rapeseed nearby contract was sharply higher. So was the wheat Matif contract. And the Argentina corn harvest is 20% done versus 37 last year and the crop is 46 million metric tons. We continue to see dryness in Brazil, which could lower their uh, crop and raise U.S. corn uh, exports. But there is concern in the market that we have a record 1 billion bushels of corn that's unshipped at this time. Uh, most of that is to China. And some people are wondering, will that uh, corn be shipped or not? Or will it be rolled forward? The uh, French uh, market, um, their, their uh, corn planting is 32% done. Um, it's 75, I'm sorry, it's 74% done, an increase of 32%. And U.S. hard wheat uh, export prices are $40 a ton above Russia and $50 a ton of, above German and Baltic. Weather-wise, we're still looking at some dry weather uh, across the western part of the southern plains, dry weather in the northern plains in Canada. We're also seeing a little bit drier forecast, especially for southern Europe, and Brazil uh, remains dry. U.S. Midwest uh, planting and growing conditions should be mostly favorable. And again, we're watching these PDO readings uh, and the Pacific uh, water temperatures. Um, if they uh, remain warm, it's good for our crops. If they cool down, we could see some ridging in the Midwest. Asian markets are all lower this morning. Still comes some concern about African swine fever spreading uh, in Asia. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. Remember, always treat people like yourself would like to be treated.